Welcome to the Companion Co-Pilot Emergency Video. Want to help your pilot and be more a part of this great flying experience, but need some guidance? You've landed in the right place. Learn what to expect in the unlikely event of an in-flight emergency. While emergency has several textbook and regulatory definitions, it really comes down to whatever you and your pilot think is an emergency when something looks unsafe. Whether it's encountering bad weather, a sick passenger or pilot, systems malfunction, or anything that doesn't look right, knowing what to do and communicating with air traffic control can help ensure a safe outcome. It's always wise to be prepared for emergencies. Pilots train for emergencies and practice various scenarios on a regular basis. Whatever the situation, as a companion co-pilot, you can lend an extra set of eyes, ears, and hands that free up your pilot to deal with an emergency. Of course, an emergency checklist helps. Together with your pilot, go over the emergency procedures checklist. You should know where to find and how to use the fire extinguisher and first aid kit if equipped. So what happens if the engine fails in flight? Usually nothing drastic. Airplanes are built to fly and won't fall out of the sky if the engine stops. Your airplane's aerodynamic stability, guided by your pilot's training, will allow it to safely glide to a landing spot. While many emergency landings occur off airport, most occupants walk away safely, even though the airplane might have some damage. That said, find out how you can help. As your pilot troubleshoots the problem, you can look for traffic, and if requested, select the GPS nearest airport function to find a suitable landing field. If your aircraft has retractable landing gear, your pilot will raise the gear after takeoff and lower it before landing. You'll notice three lights next to the landing gear handle. They change color as the gear transits. Once the gear is down and locked, you'll see three green lights. But what happens if the gear won't come down? Some aircraft have a handle or pump that will allow the gear to be lowered manually. Others have a mechanical free fall mechanism that uses gravity to allow the landing gear to fall and lock. Whichever system, your pilot will decide the next steps. If you, as a passenger, feel ill, your pilot will land as soon as possible. If you're feeling airsick, open the cabin air vents, breathe slowly, and keep your eyes outside. Stay hydrated before and during the flight, and know where to find the airsick bag just in case. What if your pilot doesn't feel well? The best thing you can do is to ask how you can help. Your pilot may ask you to let ATC know about the situation. But what if your pilot is incapacitated or unable to talk? The first thing to remember is to stay calm and fly the airplane by keeping it straight and level. If the autopilot is already turned on, leave it on. Then, once you're comfortable with the airplane setup, press and hold down the push to talk buttons to talk to ATC. Speak in plain English and relay your intentions. Uh, air traffic control, uh, Skyhawk 3206 Echo, where you have an emergency in flight. Uh, my pilot is incapacitated. I am not a pilot. Don't hesitate to tell ATC you're having an emergency and that you're not a pilot. This will make you their number one priority for getting you safely on the ground. They can reach a flight instructor or other pilot to talk to you through the next steps. Follow their instructions for a safe landing. If you're not already communicating with ATC, Tune in to the emergency frequency 121.5 to declare your emergency. Air traffic control will immediately help and reassure you. It's important to know that coping with an emergency in flight can be a significant challenge, even for experienced pilots. However, most emergencies are self-induced and can be easily remedied. For example, forgetting to switch fuel tanks, missing a checklist item, or forgetting to lower the landing gear, things that you can confirm or remind your pilot about if overlooked. Whatever the situation, survival records favor pilots and crew who calmly pause, think, analyze while following checklist procedures and instructions from ATC. Remember the classic rule, aviate, navigate, and then communicate. 
Your priority during an emergency is being able to help your pilot maintain control of the aircraft and get it on the ground safely. Everything else is secondary. For more detailed information on how to handle an emergency as a passenger, be sure to check out our passenger safety briefing video in the description below. That's it. You're now cleared to help during an emergency. Enjoy your adventure and have a safe flight.